This match has begun, and the supernatural power and wrath of Kane is unleashed. The Big Red Monster is on a mission to drag his opponent down to the underworld. And it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet, and understandably so. Ah. Leg drop! Ooh, that hurt. What a sharp one right to the cheekbone. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. Not looking good, guys. Boom! What a right. Gosh. Tossed into the turnbuckle. Heath Slater forced to play defense here. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. I'm going to come right out and say it. Kane is frightening. How do you put together a strategy against such an intimidating opponent? You gotta look past the monster and focus on the match. Kane wants this to be a methodical destruction of his opponent, so take away his control of the pace. As Cole mentioned, you can't let Kane's mere presence get in your head. Try not to think about the fact that you're in the ring with the big red monster, hailing from parts unknown, who came here today for the singular purpose of, well, annihilating you. He's bringing it back inside the ring now, and Kane manages to reverse out of that one. Double axe handle smash. When the Undertaker came into the WWE, I thought there'd never be another one like him. Turns out there's another monster just as big, and it happens to be his brother Kane. Well, opponents see Kane walking their way and begin to consider changing careers. As big and diabolical as he appears, the devil's favorite demon can win a match before he ever touches the ropes. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Von Eric Claw. He's just about there. And Kane is your winner. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look.